Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's session, we will look into the static vector reaction to create a contact with default values. Now the process will be similar to what we had earlier. Okay, we define the vector reaction in our uh, behavior definition. Okay, and as you can see here, the static action will always use to create an entity with the default value. Okay. Then what next we have to do? We have to just go and provide the for action type for the line item. This will actually go and create one more button. Now this time we will create it for uh, create contact. Uh, button and then once we just have given the uh, be in the in our behavior definition we have to go and implement that method in our behavior pool again by just modifying with a create uh, command uh, if you don't know on EML, I would highly recommend that you go and watch my earlier series on understanding EML. I will pass the link in the description as well. With that, let's get into the system and start looking on how we can create. So let us go to our Eclipse. And as we have seen, the first thing that we have to do is we have to go and create one static factory action. We have to go and create a static factory action called create contact and it will return us the value as one entity okay once you give this uh, it will actually give you this warning right then go and add that method it will add a method create contact as can be seen here the create contact will be created wherein it will have keys as imported and create contact will be uh, a method create contact will be created. It will always give us a content ID in this case, as we have seen earlier as well. Okay, so this is uh, what we have to go and implement. But before implementing, let me activate this as well as this. Now you see our behavior definition is also done. Now let's go and add a button in our metadata extension file. So I this time I am just doing it in the first page, okay, in the line item UI element, UI annotation. Now for action, the data action here would be create contact. This name is exactly the same that we have actually given the action name here, okay. That's my action, and the label is create contact. Okay. Let us activate this. Now, finally, we have to actually go to our consumption behavior definition and also use the action control space to get the pop out, and this time create contact. So now we are all set. Let me activate this as well. We are all set with our implementation now. So let's go to the implementation. And now how we can go and create our entity. So what we have to do is create an in instance of entity with default values that is what we have to do now 
and how we do it is exactly similar to what we have done for the create but with a slight changes what we do is we say modify entities of the behavior definition in local mode entity name is contact entity and this time also we have to create now this time when we create we will create from a value not fields but from a value and here i should pass the field names that i have to create what i will be creating is i will be actually saying that okay uh, please default the value of first name sorry value has as uh, first name is equal to and i am giving f and m as my first name as a default value the second field that i want to default is my gender where in i will pass say unspecified as the value and finally the third one is active that will always be abap true so these three fields i am passing as a value okay now before this we also have to uh, okay how this will go is it this this whole value should go under data right as we have seen in our first grade also if you can see here we have cid we have data similarly this should also go into data so let's first have cid is equal to and now this time we have to loop for each field okay for lwa instance in keys what we have to pass the values here we have to pa pass the values as my cid is equal to lwa instance so we know that key or keys already have the cid value for us then we have to pass the data and the data will be value and we can pass the string here with first name as fnm as a default value gender u as a default value and abap true active as a abap true okay and the third parameter that we have to always pass is the percentage control so this time we are passing the control also and as you can see control will actually have a property against each field name that we have with a type of abap behv flag so our on and off flag is what we have to pass so let us pass the control also and the control we have to pass for all those field names that we are passing so we are passing first name is equal to so how we pass it is we have an interface if abap behv for behavior okay then it has a static property called mk and if you see mk is to define whether it is mark or unmark okay mark so we are marking this field okay and and if you can see here if you go down a little bit it says mark the field on and off means unmark the field okay how it works i will show you in a moment so i am marking this as on similarly i am also passing gender so let me also pass the gender again abap behv mk as on and i am also passing active is equal to f i f abap behv marker is on okay finally we have to pass the data back to the front end using the map 
Simon is done this. Finally, we have to pass the data back to the calling program and and that will be using the uh, what is happening one 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 and one more and then we say map i'm just passing it back to the mapped one as you can see if you press f2 here you will see that it has a changing parameter uh, as a response for mapped early type for mapped failed and reported so i am not creating a lt mapped like what we have created here but i am just passing it back to the map par changing parameter similarly if it is failing it should go and add it to the failed parameter and if it is failing please report the error messages in the reported method and this one little command complete eml will actually go and create a fresh entity in our contact a fresh instance of our, in our contact entity uh, with the default value let me activate this and now let us come and see what happens to our uh, application let me refresh the application and the first thing that you can see on the application would be that we have a create contact now okay it has nothing to do anything with the uh, the instances as we have seen okay when i click here the copy contact and the change status get activated but if nothing is also selected create contact will, will always be there now what we will do is we will actually go and let me just delete all these first things and now we have actually said that of course we will be uh, wanting to create a new contact with first name as fnm gender as unspecified and active as true so let us go to our application now and click on the create contact and you can see it has created a a value for us with f and m is equal to uh, the first name that we have given gender as unspecified u and active as yes you can still go and have here and change it to say albert d winter and he is a male okay and you say a winter at yahoo.com save so when you come back that change value will be added here okay now let us see the uh, the things that we have to actually pass okay here with this mk on and off what does that mean so let me now say that okay i will not only pass the first name but i will also pass the middle name and my middle name is mid name okay i am also passing last name is equal to last name okay then gender and active okay that means i have to also pass the first name middle name last name gender and active in the control structure but i am just passing say for example the last name i am not passing last uh, for middle name okay i'm just passing the last name even though i am passing the value as middle name for the middle name i am not giving that in my control secondly even though i am passing the gender here i am marking this as off right i am marking this off so now ideally what should happen uh, we so this uh, marker as on and off will uh, let the system decide that if it is off even though the value is given the system will not consider it the framework will ignore this gender value that we are passing 
and if you are not giving the uh, marker that whole uh, uh, field name you are not giving any on and off by default it will always be considered as off so in our case middle name even though we are passing the value I am not passing it in my control structure. Similarly, gender, I even though I am passing the value, I am saying that, okay, please do not consider it. The marker is off here. Let me activate this and let us see what happens to our application now. Let me refresh this quickly. And now this time, let me just go and create one more. And what it has done is, you see, it has taken the first name, middle name, even though we have given the value, it has not considered because we have not given any marker. Last name it has taken, gender, even though we have given the value, but it has not taken it because we have marked it as off. Okay. So this is how it will consider it. Okay. You can still come back. You, If you want, you can go ahead, edit it. Okay. Now you see, since I have not given it in the object page reference, the identification reference, I don't see any create contact here, okay? That is how it works when you actually give the type for action in line item and in identification, okay? So this is how the static uh, factory action work we, it, it will be used to create uh, inst an instance with a default value okay uh, with that I think I'll stop here if you have any questions feel free uh, to ask in the comment box and I'll try to reply as much as possible uh, also, a uh, humble request to please do like, share and subscribe to my channel because it takes so, so much of effort and time to actually create and I hope these things are working for you. Finally, if you, uh, I will also provide the uh, uh, link to my earlier uh, videos, a playlist on EML which you can watch and uh, understand the complete EML process that we need in order to create uh, the RAP uh, application using either manage or unmanage in both the scenarios. With that, thank you and happy learning.